What's up my viewers and subscribers, what's up, what's up? A blessed day to you all. Welcome back to the channel, Sports to the Bone. Yes, my peeps, so we have a couple of things to talk about in this one. Dominic Drake's going to give you the latest update as it relates to what is going on with him. Also, Fabian Allen and O'Shane Thomas, right? Plus, we're going to take a look at um, that test match between England and Pakistan. And, you know, you guys will remember, uh, you know, a commentator saying the other day when West Indies lost to Australia that we should, you know, it seems as if we don't want to play test cricket and the test status should be, take, should be taken away. Now, we see some famous people tweeting after South Africa went down to... Um, to Australia, Tom Moody is one of them talking about the pitch. Nobody is suggesting that, you know, South Africa need to be serious or anything. It only had to do with the pitch. So we're going to talk about these stories. Just make sure you subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Also, turn on that post notification bell. Leave a like and drop a comment in the comment section. All right, so let us kick things off with um with a couple of our, our, our players, right? Uh, Dominic Drake's my viewers and subscribers he you know quite a few people have been asking what is going on with Dominic's Drake, um, Dominic Drake's is he going through rehab is he fit what is happening why is he not playing for West Indies why is he not getting an opportunity well what I can say to you is that he's over there in the Lanka Premier League and he was active yesterday Fabian Allen was active yesterday Dominic Drake's was active and Oshin Thomas. Well, not yesterday. The day before yesterday, I think it was. They were active, right? Dominic Drakes, he performed okay for his team. You know, um, making 38 from 20. You know, he made 38 from 20 for his team in that game. We also saw where he did some work with the ball, taking 1 for 30. Not too, not too effective with the ball. 1 for 30 of 2.5 overs. Now, Dominic Drakes is someone, um, you guys will remember that a couple... CPL campaigns ago, uh, he actually won the CPL for uh, with the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots and he was the man of the match in that um, game final there. Quite a few people have been saying that, you know, this is the man to take over from Dwayne Bravo, this is the man to lead West Indies. But what I'm going to say is this, when you have a player that would have played a lot of test cricket, a lot of ODIs and T20s for over a decade, and would have spent time, you know, harnessing his, 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 his skill, working on his skill. And he step aside in doing bravo and he, and he, and he, and he step aside from the cricket. There is, it's, it's impossible for a guy to just walk in and fill that role like that. I mean, he might have the potential, but if the work is not there, you understand, if he's not putting in the work, you know, um, playing a lot of cricket, then it's going to be very difficult. And um, in all honesty, this is a youngster that, you know, he, ha he has not been lucky with injuries. So I I'm not going to say he's not working hard. He has not been lucky with injuries. But I just wanted to give you an update that he is fit and he's playing in the Lanka Premier League. You understand? So those who have been asking in the comment section about him, if you want to see him playing, you can check out the Lanka Premier League. Same thing can be said of Fabian Allen. Now, the Super 50 tournament was just concluded. And I cannot say why he was not a part of that Super 50 tournament. I have no idea, my viewers and subscribers. What I will say, though, is that he's over there in the Lanka Premier League. So, if you, if you want to see um, Fabian Allen in action, all I would say to you guys is take a look at the Lanka Premier League. Because he's over there playing. Um, he played for his team in, 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 the, in the game. He, bowled. he made only three from five in that game. I think it was yesterday. He made only three from five. He was good with ball in hand though. You know, he picked up a couple of wickets. Um, he actually took two wickets for 23 runs from his four overs. So Fabian Allen, my viewers and subscribers, seems to be fit. So those who have been querying whether or not he's fit, he is playing in the Lanka Premier League. And this is what I will say, my peeps. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see how it works. I, I don't see how a man can just, players, not Fabian Allen only, but how players can just pop up uh, in and around World Cup time and expect it to be selected. And the fans will say that they should be selected. You understand? We see one man coming out the other day and talking about how he, he, he you know, he think that... He, he, 
is of the opinion that if he was in the last World Cup, he would have his skill set would have allowed West Indies to probably qualify for the Super 12 and they would have turned up because they have been he and other players, other experienced players have been doing it for, for a while. And those same people were in the, 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 the previous World Cup, not the last one, and they did nothing. So all I'm going to say is that people need to work for their spot in the team. You know, you can't, you can't, I'm not saying that CWI cannot find a middle ground to try and get some of these talented guys to play. You know, that discussion can be had, but based on what the rule is, they are asking for now. You have to play a certain amount of games. I don't know how people think they can just um, go around the globe and play cricket and when it's um, World Cup time, they just pop up and think they're going to be automatic selection based on what they are doing around the world. And I mean, their fans will always say, let them play they are the best but you know you, you, you guys know who I, where I stand where that is concerned Oshane Thomas now my peeps quite a few people have been saying that Oshane Thomas need to step up and partner Alzari Joseph in test cricket right now he's the man he's bowling quickly he is the man and in the Lanka Premier League game that he played recently he took um, 3 for 15 from 4 overs what I will say is this I am happy for him that he's playing some um, franchise cricket, making some cash and working his way back to fitness. But bowling four overs in a T20 game is not that difficult. Especially if you're a pace bowler. You understand? You bowl two overs, then you probably get an hour break. Then you come back and bowl another two overs and it's done. T10 cricket even worse. You bowl two overs and that's it. Now... Test cricket is totally different. Your captain will throw you the ball and he will say, give me eight, nine overs per spell. Give me seven, give me eight overs per spell. Put the overs together. And at this point, batsmen are not coming at you. They are not looking to, to score a lot of runs. So it's going, it, it going to be difficult to get a man out. Pace is always good in test cricket. I, I love to see pace in test cricket. But at the same time, pace without, without um, sustained pace is what you need. You need sustained pace. You don't want a man to bowl 140 in, in his first overs and over and then the, the rest of overs them you know is bowling 130 135 don't make any sense but you know having said that it's good to see the youngster playing some cricket and working his way back there but all i will say to his fans you need to remember that t20 cricket t10 cricket is different from test cricket test cricket the team is depending on you as a test bowler to bowl um 20 25 overs right that is what the team is depending on you to bowl sometimes in a in a in a in a, in a thing you understand so there is no way there is no way a man going go just bowl um a couple of overs and take some wicket in, in t20 cricket and you think you can make a test team at least play some 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 50 over cricket shows that you can put uh, um two five overs spill together to give 10 overs which is even far different from from test cricket you know, I am not fighting against a player, but this is just me looking at it and calling it for what it is. I would be happy to see this man back in a place where he's able to play and bowl sustain, bowl, bowl a good pace. You understand? But test cricket is totally different from, from, from T20 cricket. So, you know, as I said, I am happy to see him doing his thing. All right. So the, the, the final thing that I want to talk, well, the next thing that I want to talk about is um, where I see... Quite a few people making some posts as it relates to that test match between Australia and South Africa that was completed in two days. Now, you'll remember that one man posted the other day that West Indies, they are not serious and test, they should consider giving up test status, right? Now, Tom Moody, who is, a, who is a very popular commentator, this is what he had to say. It's been fun, but it's all happened too quickly. Pitch too grassy and green, especially when you do have um, outstanding for um, outstanding bowling units who don't necessarily need generous conditions they, um, to have an impact. So the pitch was the problem. The pitch was too grassy. I saw the game and I go and say too a lot of grass was on the pitch, but it doesn't take away from the fact that Australia won the Test match in two days. So why not talk a little bit about the top order batting for... I mean, both teams lost wickets, yes, and it was a low-scoring encounter, but Australia came out victorious. So why we don't hear anybody talking about the batting? Anyway, Michael Vaughan said, why did they leave so much grass on the pitch, on the Gabba pitch? It's historically been one of the best pitches, right, for test cricket in the world. So why change it? It was a shocking pitch. My, um, that was Michael Vaughan. Veranda Sewag. This is what he had to say. 142 overs and not even lasting two days. And they have the audacity 
to lecture on what kind of pitches are needed. Hmm. Had this happened in India, it would have been labeled the end of test cricket. Um, labeled the end of test cricket, ruining test cricket and whatnot. The hypocrisy is mind boggling, says Sewag. Now, Dinesh Karti says, 34 wickets in less than two days. This is how test cricket is. This is how test cricket on, is like on steroids, right? So you're saying this is what test cricket is like on steroids. So nobody has had anything to say about the, the batting. It's just the pitch. I mean, I agree. There, there, there was a lot of grass on the pitch, but nobody's talking about the batting of South Africa or, or anything. But that's how it goes. That, 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 that's how it is. So let, before we close, let me just talk to you a little bit about that England versus Pakistan game. I gave you um, some update yesterday just to let you know England, they are closing in on victory. They actually need another 55 runs from 191 overs. And they have quite a few wickets in hand. You know, they are 112 for two, chasing one, um, chasing, I think it were, it's about 160 something they're chasing. So England, they are closing in on victory there. So, um, you know, uh, Pakistan, they are about to be swept. England, they would have won the first two test matches. This is the third and final one. And England need just 55 runs to win with eight wickets in hand. So, yeah, that is basically it for this one, my peeps. Just wanted to give you guys that update. Going to leave it right here for now. Big up on yourself and stay safe.